Honey, my spirit guides told me many moons ago that only pretty people wouldn't choose to subscribe to me, and so far, I haven't been wrong. Howdy, girl. Hello, my beautiful Aries. How are you doing? Today, I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot messages this week, your weekly horoscope, if you will, Aries. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, because that is how we keep up with you, Aries, is through the comments. Um, let me know how the cards resonate and how they just pertain to you in your life. Also, if you enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Aries, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way. Uh, also remember to use your intuition when it comes to this weekly reading today Aries because put it in perspective you know your situation better than I ever possibly could because I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you right so uh, I want to make a note here actually Aries real quick because a card came out and I want to like talk about that in a moment oh wow two cards came out all right. So, yeah, so take the cards that resonate, leave what doesn't, Aries. I want to get into this reading now because y'all's reading is like already turning out to be insane. Um, so, yeah, these cards here are just here to give you perspective, remember, Aries, some food for thought, but never making the decision in, uh, in your life. So, uh, let me just talk about the cards that came flying out. Now, I only had uh, the Hanged Man card pulled out for you because that was the one that just felt appropriate. Uh, for you, Aries, but you also had the uh, Magician card as well as the Fool card come out for you. So this is extremely powerful, uh, Aries. I will get into your actual messages here that I pulled for you for your, that was intended, but the messages that popped out for this dynamic, Aries, it's just insane is where it's just like, I don't know, some type of action that you have taken, Aries, or some type of action or something just has happened in your life, in your environment, Aries, where uh, you're getting a shift in perspective. It's almost as if like you're seeing things clearly now, Aries, and something that you have been uh, struggling with probably, something that's been like an internal struggle or an internal insecurity uh, with something, with some type of situation with a person, whatever your storyline is, Aries, feels almost as if this is being lifted, the fog's being lifted now with this hanged man, you're seeing this from a different perspective. And I like to think of it in like an optimistic way uh, because of the sun here, Aries. So it's like, you know, sun card is the best card in, the, in tarot. So yeah, it's really beautiful in this way. And plus when you have it paired with the fool card and the magician card, uh, Aries, this is almost just like because of this being lifted, because the fog's being lifted, and you're having a different perspective on something, Aries, uh, it's almost like you're now extremely motivated into uh, creating now, into really just going full force, full speed ahead with your life, with trying to create something. I do feel strongly that it's kind of work-related, business-related, um, or are you trying to make it to that point, uh, Aries? Maybe like a passion or a pro uh, an art project or something, maybe you write, or maybe you uh, do art of some type, dance, sing, Aries. Um, I just get this sense of where it's just like now you're feeling insanely like inspired through some type of change of perspective. And I just feel like something just has been lifted that's really worked through like your, um, that's just... I feel like it was just some type of insecurity that was just like weighing heavy on you. And you understand it through the cards that I actually pulled for you, Aries. But uh, yeah, what a really powerful message right off the bat that was just totally unexpected. Um, so now, just give me a moment. I'm going to just be making some notes real quick, Aries. Uh, so now, Aries, let's get into your actual uh, tarot messages. I pulled some tarot cards for you, just normal tarot cards. Uh, to uh, get an idea of where it is you're currently at right now. So let me show you the cards. We have the Queen of Water coming in, or the Queen of Cups. We have the Ace of Fire, or the Ace of Wands. And I'm saying or for because Wands is Fire, uh, Water is Cups, that's their elements. 
uh, the strength card Archangel Ariel. This is the main reason why I feel like this is something that's been like what it is that you finally have like worked through that's been like a long standing thing, like a long standing, like looming struggle for you. This is the strength card. Number 11, which I want to also point out, 11 is such a beautiful lucky number. It's that wish fulfillment, right? You make a wish on 11. Uh, so write down the number 11 for numerology first, uh, Aries, but also Archangel Ariel, you know, whatever your practices are. Aries, it's none of my business what it is you do, who it is you connect with, if you connect to or believe in into, into anything. My job here is just to let you know your options, right? And Archangel Ariel stepping forward to work with you this week. Aries, should you want to? Should you be open to that narrative? So, as well as the Page of Earth or the Page of Pentacles, Aries, this is a card of... Um, really just, well, actually, we'll get into this. Um, this, But uh, this focus is, again, like part of the reason why I feel like it's financial for what I was saying in that other message, right? I like to explain myself because it's, even though my messages are very intuitive areas, I like, I still see things as like a puzzle and like how it like connects. So uh, let's see how these cards go though. Uh, we will put this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here. All right, so we're going to start with your strength card, Aries. Now, this card says, great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. Uh, this is the strength card I, call, I say is like my shadow work card, uh, Aries. This is a card where you're just like, you know, especially with the forgiveness and compassion. And like, I just feel like this is just a card of healing. You've been going through some type of healing process that gave you that hanged man moment. So now let's start pulling some tarot cards and get some clarifiers on that strength in specific. See what it, what messages we can uh, get from that. Let's see. <sighs> okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles, the Justice card, as well as the Five of Wands in the reverse. So this is what I like to see, Aries. Uh, I guess I can point out the uh, zodiac signs through the Major Arcana. So the Strength card is Leo's card, and this may or may not have any relevance. I just like to point it out for those that do care about it. And then also, I just have to bring it up because the Justice card is the Libra card, and that's what I am, honey, is the Libra Scorpio cusp. But uh, yeah, uh, so the Justice card, the Four of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands in the reverse. So really beautiful energy, Aries, because normally the Five of Wands is a card that I kind of cringe at when it shows up in a reading because I'm just like, oh, it's like a little bit of conflict, a little bit of just like things not being in balance, right, with the Justice card. But with this being inverted, it's quite the opposite, right? I feel like if there was some type of conflict, if there was some type of situation that was out of balance in your life, the Justice card comes in as the message, Aries, I feel, uh, of where it's just coming into... Um, you're feeling good about it. This is what it is that you've been healing with is like, there's just been whatever your imbalance is. Now it's like, because you have a better perspective, you have the four pentacles and you're just like, ah, okay. Now I feel good about investing my pentacles. Now I feel good about uh, feeding energy into something because I do feel like with this situation, it's unlocked something in you, Aries, that almost has given you the uh, freedom to, or like the comfort, the peace of mind to have like a four of pentacles moment in some aspect of your life could be related could not be right um whatever it is though uh, i want to explain further as to why i feel such an optimistic way about this because if you received any of my readings before Aries, you know that i'm a pretty optimistic person when it comes to anything just because you know why it's better to be optimistic than pessimistic right but you also have Aries, the queen of water or the Queen of uh, Cups. And this card says, relationships developing into a new level. Trust your intuition, caring for yourself and others. So Aries, whatever your situation was, like it brings you too closer if, there, if it's involving a person or it brings you... So there's, I just feel as if whatever your healing moment was, it just brings you either closer to like another party member, another energy, or just even closer with yourself, a better understanding with yourself. But I'm seeing this just in a positive way of where it's just, you know, now you're feeling just motivated through 
whatever was weighing heavy, whatever was imbalanced with some type of situation. It's almost as if some type of healing has happened. A weight finally just being lifted that allowed there to be a balance and just be like, oh, okay. Um, you know, maybe you, some of you Aries just needed to be reminded that, uh, that you're not alone, right? That there's other, uh, forces out there trying to work with you, right? So let's get some clarifiers on this Queen of Water. <clears throat> All right, so we have here, let's see, get these cards set up properly. We have here the Six of Swords, the Hierophant card with the Four, yeah, Four of Swords series. So with this Queen of Water, this refines the message of like why you're in the state in the first place. And so, you know, the Hierophant comes in with higher commitment. So, you know, this is kind of going along that same narrative with the Four of Pentacles, Aries of where you feel good about investing your pentacles into something. Six of Swords, normally in the upright, this is a card of putting distance, but since it's inverted for you, Aries, this is now a situation of where it's like you're coming closer together. Again, going back to honing into the message of relationships developing to a new level, and I feel like you guys are just getting closer. Again, if this is containing another person. Um, and then the Four of Swords comes in as this, heal, this state of another card of just healing, similar to that Shadow Work card, your strength card uh Aries so it's just like this consistent like peace of mind is something that I'm just hearing Aries you're just having peace of mind and because I don't feel like it like take note aside from like the actual four of pentacles aware it's like now you're feeling motivated into doing something else which is now where this reading is getting into Aries um you really haven't had any pentacle cards like I don't feel like any of this has been like a physical thing this has all been just about like emotions and like just like the whole mental experience so i really do feel like this has been just a week of where it's like just such a release such a weight being lifted uh mentally almost just like anxiety being fading away or just uh i don't know something that just has been weighing heavy I, it's just something that i'm getting uh aries so now let's do this you know i talked about how now you're feeling motivated aries to go forward into your path right to do something it's almost just, I feel like it's kind of just separate though. It's weird, but it's like, I don't know how these two are connected, but it just feels like after this situation, you got closure, whatever, peace of mind in this situation here. Now you're just like, all right, now in this other avenue, which I feel like is work, uh, or finances or business, Ace of Fire or the Ace of Wands. This card says an exciting new opportunity, career advancement and changing your life now. So quite, quite literally the card itself says career advancement, right? So I just do feel like this is all like financially motivated. You have the Ace of Pentacles uh, as the back of the deck energy for this other deck, which is, you know, going after your cornucopia. So two Aces showing up in this way right off the bat for you, Aries. This is what I like to see. You guys are having such a powerful reading. Such a powerful reading, such a powerful reading. So let's see here. <clears throat> Clarifiers we have. <clears throat> I love it. So you have the Seven of Pentacles for your Ace of Fire. You have the Moon card, as well as the Knight of Cups. So Aries, buckle up. What I'm going to say here is that it seems almost as if whatever, you, you know, I even was saying before, uh, intuitively that, um, you know, your artistic desire to make something like your a business or whatever, like dancing, writing, whatever. Um, now that you put energy into this and you start feeding more into this because of this uh, other situation, putting, going, being put into a closure or what have you, and then some like stuff starts being just presented and revealed to you in such a beautiful way stuff being coming out of the blue unexpected offers and so what does that even kind of look like though uh i say this because of the moon card coming in this kind of sets the tone for what this all looks like in the detail where it's kind of like you're not going to anticipate it notice i want you to take note again that we're not getting into any pentacles yet so this lets me know this is not something that you already have your hands in necessarily of how you would anticipate things to pan out at least that's how i would see it aries but um so you have that environment where it's like the moon because it's like things working under like beneath the shadows you don't quite know what everything's going on what's going on in there is this knight of cups 
right? Is something coming towards you, whether it's a person or whether it's a situation. I'm going to go into the narrative with the cups uh, being presented and filled with an opportunity uh, because it could go either way. But again, I do just feel like it's some type of opportunity in terms of career for most of you Aries or just something financial. Uh, this is coming towards you, right? And I feel like I'm getting visions of like multiple, like I feel like there's just like, I'm seeing like this land and just like different Knights of Cups going at different speeds coming. It's almost as if like for you Aries, like you ordered like Postmates and have it delivered from McDonald's. And then you had some Postmates for like Walmart and then like Target. And then like you Postmated a bunch of things and now you have a bunch of deliveries coming to you at random intervals, at random times. I hope that makes sense, Aries. And then what does this look like? You have the Seven of Wands here. Seven of Wands is where it's like a lot of eyes are on you. So you can kind of look at this as kind of like people noticing your art, people noticing you, what it is that you're putting out there. There, right with the seven of wands you're kind of being the one setting the tone people are looking to you aries um and going to you which makes sense because you have that nine of cups so it's really it's part of the reason why you would have like multiples now that i'm like reflecting on this as well because seven of wands multiple wands usually implies multiple wands looking at you it would make sense as to why i was seeing like the knight of cups and multiple knights coming towards you different ways so love that um but now we finally get into some pentacles uh more so we have the page of earth here this is what i feel like you know this is like the new channel of energy that you're sinking into sinking your teeth into uh so this card says good news about financial matters right wanting to do something more challenging a new area of study so notice i want to remind you areas of the ace of fire messages here that it says as well career advancement uh change your life now and exciting new opportunities so all these cards are kind of like have this undertone of like unexpected opportunity um that's again not something that you're anticipating like it's something just like new entirely for you i don't feel like you're going to be doing the same thing or necessarily like i don't know how to really explain it aries i just feel like things are really going to un you're go like i just feel like things are working out in very unexpected ways for you is the only way i can really put it so now let's look at these cards i have for your page of earth we have the strength card with the death card oh honey with the six of cups yeah aries you guys are putting this yeah something that has just been holding you back from finally opening up the channels of this new thing that you're sinking your energy into that you're creating aries so whatever that was um you're putting an end to it right this shows to me the completion of a cycle for you you know um this shows to me something that has been like a major blockage or blockade in your life that's been really slowing the flow of creation for you i feel uh areas because then you have the six of cups here uh the six of cups is a card of like offers again so um you're constantly being it's, your cards are constantly presenting this situation of where it's just like you heal from this old situation and you start putting this new ener energy into these new things and then it's from there that you just get so many offers like i just keep on seeing offers uh being presented for you areas which is just extremely interesting so definitely let me know how that goes for y'all but now aries i want to get into specifics uh for my areas that are interested in hearing about love and their career through tarot that's what we're going to be doing next so we're going to be starting with love first so give me a moment so i can take down the time honey <clears throat> All right, so let's get into this. What is going on? And quickly, the cards are coming out. Oh my gosh. So what is going on for my Aries in love? All right, so we have three of fire, queen of fire. Wow. And the world card. So love-wise, socially, uh, Aries, this is looking really good for you. Uh, the Three of Fire talks, oh, I have like hair in my eye. The Three of Fire or the Three of Wands series talks about 
Uh, I mean, the card itself says abundance, right? Things looking up, things looking really good in terms of love in your social situations in your life. Um, I feel as if you're going to start getting some extra signs that really make you feel solid in the relationships that you have currently. With the Queen of Fire and the, the World card, rather, this kind of goes into your general messages as well, Aries, where we were talking about um the healing of a situation that almost allows you like almost like having like this release or like this weight being lifted over like an anxious situation allows you to kind of just like tap into your fullest potential and to really start being in this creation process areas and so socially um i see things looking pretty good for you guys in terms of love uh, it seems to be, I would say, for my single areas that are like looking for insight on it, I'm going to be honest, it seems to be all seemingly focused in terms of like creation for you, Aries. Everything seems to be about you right now. And so you can kind of read in between the lines and that um, for my single areas that right now you have to focus your path on um, creation. And then maybe through that creation process, maybe someone in that same field uh, would be of interest to you. Just being honest, right, Aries? So that's what I have for you, Aries, in that. So now let's get into my Aries and their career. So what's going on with my Aries and their career situation, with their finances, their financial situation? <clears throat> All right. So we have the th oh, good cards. Three of Water or the Three of Cups with the High Priestess card, Aries as well as the Eight of Fire. So right now, uh, financially, uh, for you, Aries, you guys are doing, if you, you, you know, if you're doing stocks, you know, I'm not going to tell you how to manage your stocks, honey, because I'm not your advisor and anything like that. But if you have a good feeling about a stock, honey, you like, you keep on having strong intuition cards uh, for you, Aries, and it's all being related to your finances. Um, you know, this is a really good week for that, too, just like listening to your gut instinct. Eight of Fire or the Eight of Wands lets you know, Aries, where it's just kind of like things that you just do, kind of like whatever you throw at the wall right now, whatever you feel good about, I feel like it's going to really work out pretty beautifully for you. Because then you have the Three of Water, the Three of Cups, and the card itself says it's a celebration because it's the victory card, Aries. So really at this time, the best thing you can do for yourself financially, it seems to be, is just to allow yourself in this creative process, allow yourself to really um, put your hand in multiple pots because I do feel like things are going to be really beautiful for you guys, Aries, if they're not already. Definitely don't put all your ducks in one row. This is really such an emphasis, Aries, on really expanding and thinking bigger pictures, more streams of revenue, right? With that page of pentacles, I always say it's like adding like a new stream of energy that you're um, doing. And so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, Aries, that is the reading that I have for you this week. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Aries, I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs, not just yours, Aries. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, even if they're not, honey, I would really appreciate it if you were to send them my video and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. And until next time, Aries, I hope I can connect with you sometime, sometime in the future to read your horoscope again. I love you so much.